I'm gonna be honest with you. I almost quit cattle fattening two years ago. My profit margins were terrible, feed costs were destroying me, and my cattle weren't reaching market weight fast enough. Then I stumbled across something that big commercial operations have been using for decades but never talk about, the feed rotation method. First week after implementing it, nothing. Second week, I started seeing changes. By week four, my cattle looked like completely different animals. The weight gain was so dramatic, my vet actually asked if I was using growth hormones. I'm not. But what I am doing is this rotation system, and there's one rotation mistake that will ruin everything. Before I tell you what that mistake is, let me explain exactly what feed rotation is, because most ranchers get this completely wrong from day one. See, the traditional approach to cattle fattening is simple, right? You pick one feed formula, you stick with it until market day, and you hope for the best. But here's what nobody tells you. Your cattle's digestive system is incredibly adaptive, and when you feed the same thing day after day, week after week, their room and microbiome becomes too specialized. It's like eating pizza every single day for a year. Eventually, your body stops extracting maximum nutrition from it. The same thing happens with your cattle. The feed rotation method works on a completely different principle. Instead of one static diet, you rotate through three to four different feed compositions over a strategic timeline. And I'm not talking about random changes. This is calculated, deliberate, and based on how the rumen adapts to different nutrient profiles. Now, here's where most people mess this up. They think rotation means switching feeds every day or every other day. That's the kiss of death. Your cattle's rumen needs time to adjust, time to build the right bacterial populations for each feed type. Change too fast? You'll cause digestive stress, bloating, and actually lose weight instead of gaining it. So what's the right timeline? Listen carefully, because this is where the magic happens. You want to work in 14 to 21 day cycles. That's two to three weeks per feed type. During those two to three weeks, the rumen microbiome fully adapts, maximizes nutrient extraction, and then, right before it plateaus, you switch to the next rotation. Let me break down the four-phase rotation that transformed my operation. Phase one is your high-energy starter phase. This is a corn-based feed with moderate protein, around 12 to 14%. You're priming the system, getting those cattle comfortable, building their appetite. This phase lasts exactly 14 days, not 13, not 15, 14. During this time, you'll notice steady but not explosive growth. That's normal. You're setting the foundation. Phase two, this is where things get interesting. You switch to a high protein phase. We're talking 16 to 18% protein using soybean meal, cottonseed meal, or distiller's grains. Now here's what happens inside the rumen that most ranchers never understand. When you make this switch after two weeks of high energy, the rumen bacteria are hungry for protein. They've adapted to metabolize energy, and now you flood the system with protein. The result? Explosive muscle development. You'll see it in their shoulders, their hindquarters, their overall frame. This phase runs for 21 days. But here's the critical part, and this is that mistake I mentioned earlier. Between phase one and phase two, you cannot just flip the switch overnight you need a three to four day transition period where you're mixing 75% old feed with 25% new feed for two days, then 50-50 for one day, then 25% old and 75% new for one day. Skip this transition, you're looking at bloat, scours, and a vet bill that'll make you cry. Phase three brings us back to energy, but with a twist. Now you're using a barley or wheat-based feed, different energy source than phase one. Why does this matter? because the enzymatic pathways in the rumen respond differently to different grain types. Corn metabolizes differently than barley. Barley metabolizes differently than wheat. By rotating your energy sources, you're keeping the metabolic system active, responsive, and efficient. This phase also runs 21 days. And phase four, this is your finishing phase. High energy, moderate protein with added fat sources. We're talking about getting that marbling that body condition score that buyers pay premium prices for. Flaxseed, sunflower meal, even beef tallow in small amounts. 
This phase can run anywhere from 14 to 28 days, depending on your target market weight. Now, here's something most YouTube videos won't tell you, because honestly, most people teaching this have never actually done it. The rotation method doesn't just improve weight gain, it dramatically improves feed conversion ratios. Before I implemented this system, I was seeing feed conversion ratios of about 8 to 1. That means 8 pounds of feed for every 1 pound of weight gain. Expensive, inefficient, painful. After implementing proper rotation, I'm consistently hitting 5.5 to 6 to 1. Some of my best performing cattle have hit 5 to 1. Do the math on that. If you're fattening 50 head and you improve your conversion ratio by even 2 points, you're saving thousands of dollars per cycle. Thousands. But let me tell you about the three biggest mistakes I see ranchers make when they try to implement this system. Because if you make even one of these errors, you'll think the method doesn't work. Mistake number one, inconsistent timing. You cannot rotate based on feel or convenience. If you're supposed to switch on day 14 and you wait until day 18 because you didn't order feed on time, you've disrupted the entire biological rhythm. Set calendar reminders. Order feed two weeks in advance. Treat this like the precision system it is. Mistake number two, poor quality feed during any phase. Some ranchers think they can use premium feed for phases one and two, then cheap out on phases three and four. Your cattle don't forget. Poor quality feed in any phase creates a bottleneck that limits the entire cycle's performance. Every phase matters equally. Mistake number three, and this one nearly cost me everything when I started, ignoring water quality and mineral supplementation. The rotation method increases metabolic demand. Your cattle are processing nutrients more efficiently, growing faster, working harder internally. If they don't have access to clean, fresh water at all times, and if they're not getting proper minerals, especially during phase transitions, the system breaks down. I use free choice mineral feeders and I check water troughs twice daily, non-negotiable. Now, let me share something that took me six months to figure out. The rotation method works even better when you sync it with weight monitoring. Every seven days, I'm weighing a sample group, five to six head that represent my overall herd. I'm tracking their progress phase by phase. This data tells me if I need to extend a phase by a few days or if I can move to the next rotation sooner. Cattle are individuals. Breeds respond differently. Your local climate affects metabolism. The only way to truly optimize this system for your operation is to measure, track, and adjust. And here's the beautiful part that nobody talks about. Once you've run two or three complete rotation cycles, you start to see patterns specific to your herd. You'll notice that maybe your cattle respond better to a 17-day phase 2 instead of 21 or that your finishing phase performs better at 24 days instead of 28. This system isn't rigid. It's a framework that you customize based on real-world results. One last thing before we wrap up, because this question always comes up. Can you use this method on pasture-based systems, or is it only for feedlot operations? Absolutely, you can use it on pasture. Instead of rotating feed types in a bunk, you're rotating pasture sections with different forage compositions. High legume pasture for protein phases, grass heavy pasture for energy phases, and you can supplement with strategic grain feeding during transitions. I've seen pasture-based ranchers get incredible results with this approach. So here's what I want you to do right now. First, subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow because we're building something special here. A community of ranchers who don't just accept average results, who push for excellence, who share real knowledge that actually works in the field. Second, drop a comment below telling me what phase you think will make the biggest difference for your operation. Are you most excited about the high-protein muscle building phase? The finishing phase for better marbling? I want to hear from you. And third, share this video with another rancher who's struggling with feed costs or slow weight gain. We rise together, we learn together, we succeed together. This isn't just about cattle. This is about building sustainable, profitable operations that support our families and our land. Let's keep learning, keep growing, and keep raising the best cattle possible. I'll see you in the next video.